Hello and welcome to another episode of Grain and Pain. I'm Michael and this is James. Hey. Today we have four roses and on the hot sauce side... We got classic Tabasco. I'm so stoked that we finally was a, we were able to bring that on because James has been kicking at it since the day I mentioned it because he claims it's not a hot sauce. Because it's boring and doesn't deserve a place at our table. Until now. Cool. All right. <laughs> Let's get into this four roses. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this one because uh, I had a the the single oh, barrel. Yeah, 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 single is barrel. Is it gonna be good? Um, and that was flipping good. Um, <laughs> we're gonna try the cork on this one. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Something was like sitting on the side there. Maybe it was just a little. Could have just wow. been. We actually left this for quite a while. You can see the corks dissolving. Looks like I'll we'll have to drink it quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what a shame. Pretty sure that this company has a... <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> That's a lot of Good. booze. Let me see the cork. All right. Good cork. I'll uh, give it a four. I'll give it a four as well. This is a good pop, dude. Yeah. As I was saying, uh, I'm pretty sure this company has a lot of history, right? Yeah, it was founded in 1888. Did you hear yeah, all that? Put, still it in, pop. Put, it, put it back in. It really goes in there. Wow. That is not coming out anytime soon. <laughs> Woo. Um, yeah, so 1888. So they've been around for quite a while. Um, they were actually bought for a small period of time and they started to make um, blended whiskey instead of just bourbon. So they took a step back, um, but then Things got rearranged it's kind again. Of smells like bourbon. I mean, bourbon. It's kind of smells like bourbon. It's not you think? Like, it doesn't smell quite as bourbony. As it kind of smells like the Evan Williams, honestly. Old the uh, old Evan up there. Let's try it. I, mean, I got a, a tiny little bit of cork in mine, but yeah, I could see some floating down to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we left it for too long. I like it. Yeah. Did you get that like aftertaste? Because yeah. the aftertaste is way better than I was expecting. Yeah. It's it it hits like Evan like Williams that. in the like beginning. A, like a pretty normal, like a bourbon, normal, but then a oak heavy bourbon. It's good. And then it evolves into this a rich bourbon flavor, um, and then like a tiny little just sousson of sweetness at the end, dude. All right, let's calm it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's that, like that ending. That's like I pretty, was, pretty like nah, in the beginning, like pretty normal. But then at the end, that's like a properly good it drink is, right there. Yeah, that's like that's like I don't know. That's like uh, Woodford for me, right there at the end there. Right there at the end there. Right there. Right the end there, there at the end there. Its evolution is fantastic, mm. but it's weird because whoa, it's, whoa, what? I don't know. It's just a little, it's quite strong at the beginning. I really? I think it's quite just regular, plain. No, it is. It's plain in the beginning, plain, but forty percent. Yeah, but so it's, it's but eighty it's... proof, forty percent, and um, it's roughly twenty to twenty-five dollars, and this is for the seven fifty again. So seven fifty mil, and it's that's good value. Mm. It tastes good, dude. I'm really impressed with that. It, yeah, it's I might... weird because it's it's plain in the beginning. And super regular and like just yeah. everybody's equal and then as soon as it evolves it, it evolves into something amazing and it's really flipping good but you have to you have to give it a minute because we were both sitting there like hmm and then it both hit us yeah I can't say that I'm too impressed by it honestly I think if I had to choose, and you might hate me first, but I would take that just because it's cheaper. You can get a liter of that for what? So you would you would prefer a cheaper one that, that has kind of the same taste, but it's got that plasticky aftertaste. Remember? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of remember. Mm. No, mm, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, I disagree. Uh, with Twenty twenty five dollars for seven fifty. How much was that again? I think it was roughly thirteen dollars, twelve or something. Yeah. For a full liter, and it tastes pretty much the same. 
it again. Really? Yeah, I don't know. It tastes bad. It's, it's very similar. I, I'm not, it's and usually... I think this evolves way better. It's a much more mature whiskey, so it's a minimum of five years. Really? Yeah. So, I would take this for an extra year and an extra, what is that? Eight, eight to ten dollars. I'd take this any day of the week. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got a point. You know why it's called Four Roses? No. Apparently, uh, the founder got given a gift by his mistress and his, his friend. Mistress friend? His his girlfriend, I guess you call it. I don't know. They, he was they married. Say, they say had... Southern Belle, you know, like. Oh, it's, no, so it's his wife. Yeah, his. his, his okay. not, not his, like, yeah, his wife or his someone. I don't know if his, his wife person. Yet. Yes. yes, his person. Given, like, a, a little gift and it was. Um, I guess you could, What do you say? Like you a lapel? Know? Yeah, like a lapel. Or thing, like and pin. it had four roses on it. Oh, really? So he named, yeah, he oh, and he named yeah. this. Oh, that's so sweet. At least I think. That could be totally wrong. <laughs> Where did you read that? I'm back at the bottom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know it's crap then. <laughs> Let's see. I Paul, jo yeah, Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Rivers of Bourbon, became smitten by a beautiful southern belle. Mm, smitten. Mm, he was smitten. He <laughs> sent a proposal to her and she replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her gown to the upcoming Grand Ball. I was way off. I did not read into this enough. <laughs> <laughs> when she showed up to the night at the ball in her beautiful gown, she wore a corsage of four red roses. Oh. He later named his bourbon Four Roses as a symbol of his devout passion for the lovely bell. That's that's actually really cool. That's a way better story than the one I told. <laughs> he was given the He pin. gave her like a little a little pearl a little pin. pin. Come on. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna Tony's pizza. <laughs> That's way better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, I don't trust that with worth of anything. Yeah, no. No, that's a cool story. Yeah, it is a cool story. I mean, I, that was probably word of mouth from what, 1888? Yeah, yeah. When I, it was started? I, yeah, nah, don't trust it. That's, um, could be true. it's great to put on the back of your bottle though, yeah, and cool say, story. hey man, this is what happened. And it's people like, oh, oh wow, <laughs> that's amazing. I'm gonna buy this bottle. <laughs> How romantic. Alright, um, since you're not that impressed, tell me your rating. Oh crap, what did I rate Evan Williams? Let's see, it was somewhere in the 40s. It was the answer to life, the universe and everything, it was 42. 42. So... Oh. And you really don't, you're gonna rate this, say, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna rate speculating. This. I'm gonna rate this 45. Just so because it's better, it's, but because it's got a way, it's got a better aftertaste. It's got a real cork. It's yeah, aged longer. I don't, I, I'm, but uh, you know, three points. That's where it gets you. So, really? Yeah. Oh, you're a tough crowd. Forty-seven. Forty. We'll go forty-seven. <laughs> no, <we're laughs> no, yeah, we're go, no, we got forty. We got forty-seven. I think I. It's. I did it a little dirty. Forty-seven. That's. No, because but I gave non creep. What did I give non creep? Yeah. Fifty-five and up. Okay. Fifty-five plus. Yeah, that's okay. what you get. Forty-seven. That's good. That's good. No, no, this is worse than Knob Creek. No, that's what I see now. I've dug myself a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James can't wait to the reordering of things. Yeah, 45. That's fair. 10 away from Knob Creek. That's pretty fair. You think Knob Creek is better than this? Yeah, way better. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give it a solid 60. Okay. Yeah, but you got to remember my scores are a little bit higher than yours. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Our last game was dice. Dice. So you in. we. It is one one, my man. We remember it differently. Agree to disagree. <clears throat> we are one one. It worked. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and our next game is. Um, what do you even call this? We don't. We don't know. We've never had a name for it, but we learned it on uh, a rugby, rugby tour, tour back in the. 20, 20 teens. I think Early it's very I think it's, like, I think it's very English or like European. I think it's a European game because I feel like I've seen a video of it on Instagram of like an English cop playing it with some teenage boy. Oh really? I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, so you play an initial rock paper scissors or ching chong cha game. Whoever wins that gets to go first in the actual real part of the game, which is the person who starts 
points in a certain direction, left, right, up, or down, and the person who's on the receiving end moves their head in a certain direction. They do that at the same time. And if some, if the person that's moving his hand and the person that moves his head go in the same direction, then the person who moves his head loses that round. But if and you only you can move up, down, left, yeah. and right. Yeah, up, it's down, not left, like right. diagonals. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so once we go, and let's say I go this direction, he goes that direction, then it switches, and we keep going until something loses. How many rounds do you want to play? Um, we'll go two. And if someone wins both of them in a row, then they get the point. Two? Yeah. I feel like I should be able to make a comeback. Why don't we do like best of five? Okay, best of five. So if someone gets three, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so if someone, someone gets three, 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 then they, they win. Win it instantly. Okay. Apparently it's Japanese in origin. Uh, Ching Chong Cha. No, not Ching oh. Chong Cha. <laughs> Ching Chong Cha is actually like it's recognized as the South African pronunciation in Wikipedia. Oh wow. Um, mm. Japanese, just like I said. You're no, okay. look the way. It's the the game. The, yeah, the it's look at Japanese. Yeah. Apparently, I looked it up. All right. No, yeah, actually. Japanese. <laughs> Europe, Japan, same thing. <laughs> Are we playing... That's pretty silly. Are we playing Ching Chong Cha or are we playing Rock Paper Scissors? We're playing Ching Chong Cha. Okay. Ching Chong Cha. Oh, damn. Alright, here we go. Oh, crap. No! No! I hate it! Oh, okay. I'm concentrating. I'm so hard. I've never concentrated more in my life. Okay, here we go. Alright. One, one, zero. Yeah. Do you always go wrong? Maybe, I don't know. I won, so it was love enough. No, you always go that way! You always go, you always like. I'm sorry. Swipe left. Michael's only swiping left out here. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I have no idea the difference. Okay. 2 0. This is looking bad for me right here. Alrighty. Ching, chung, chat. No! <laughs> I'm losing uh, everything. Right, okay, ready? Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> you went like this. Went, yeah, I head faked you. You went, you went oh, what's good? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Okay, you're, okay. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> the <same>! Yes! <laughs> you died! Michael, you were moving your head for yours. You were, I know, I'm trying to fake. Yeah, I'm trying to fake you out. Did it I work, did. people? Did it work? Can, yeah, we, can it we go again? Can we go again? No, we can't go again. Okay, that's the first set. So it's like tennis. <laughs> oh, oh James, it's... Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> there it is. First time I've been the lead. Yeah, last time as well. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good to be back. All right. Let's hit the uh, <sighs> the pain segment of this oh, video. Oh, pain. Oh, painful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude about the Tabasco. Tabasco is a staple in my diet, actually. Unfortunately. Uh, is that why you smell so bad all the time? Because of the vinegar? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you tell me. So this was made in, it says, 1868. So this thing is old. Um, <laughs> that exact bottle? This exact bottle. <laughs> <laughs> was made in 1868. Uh, Avery Island, Louisiana. This is this is all over New Orleans. We found a store there full of Tabasco merchandise. I mean, I feel like you can find Tabasco anywhere. No, no I mean like it's very popular in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you Actually, can find it's sold in 195 countries. Ooh, that is a lot. And I think the bottles there are 20 different language variations, something like that. Which is crazy. <laughs> so what's Tabasco in like another language? I don't know. It's or is it just the ingredients? I'm probably just like Tabasco and all this <laughs> Spanish <laughs> something. <laughs> Producer Matt is killing himself. <laughs> what's Tabasco in another language? Tabasco. <laughs> I was trying to throw James a curveball. Oh, I got it, I got it. Ooh, wee wee, Tabasco. <laughs> oh, it was a font for Tabasco. <laughs> I know, that's, that's more. Uh, I was trying to throw you a curveball and Matthew just died in the background. <laughs> I got a Google Translate Tabasco in French. Tabasco. Wait, play it, play it, play it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's muted. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tedesco. <laughs> Played in Spanish? Uh, mm, C. Si. Tabasco. Tabasco. <laughs> Taco. Beyond the S. Thank you. <laughs> Tabasco. See? Tabasco. See? Tabasco. Okay, there you go. Tabasco. Multilingual channel. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, really appealing yeah. to the masses. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, Tabasco is made from the habanero pepper. No, I'm just kidding. It's made from the Tabasco pepper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's good, James. That was. And yeah. Well, it's more of a pepper sauce. It's isn't it? yeah, Tabasco pepper. It, I don't know. It's like t Tabasco pepper and vinegar and salt. Hmm. I mean, like the. I feel like the the less effort that you have to put in like weird uh ooh, that was close in like weird ingredients you start messing with the flavor profile but if you keep it super simple like they have here and they just made a really decent hot sauce i think for some people all right let's jump into it, <laughs> it is, uh, dude it's such a good smell i love yeah vinegar. but like look how watery that is that's like the volcano one we tried no it's a little thicker than that uh, maybe but it's so good you just dip it in you don't need it's like putting um vinegar on your uh fries, fries. It's, it's not different that's literally just like water oh, substance these, these pieces fit nicely into our little bowl yeah. yeah they're getting a little smaller you can get a full uh, take as much as you want don't worry it's not gonna burn your mouth i think mm. Mm. Old Faithful. That is a classic. Just that vinegar, <clears throat> pepper, and salt. Literally, it's just distilled That's vinegar, so red good. pepper, salt. Those are the three ingredients. So good. I don't know. I don't know why you need anything else. It's not. It's not gonna ruin your day. It's not gonna burn your insides. Zero calories. Hmm. It's literally zero everything except sodium. They've been thinking about your health. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is vinegar bad for you? I don't think so. Ah, dude, this is, this is such a staple. I tell you one thing though. Um, I've had this Tabasco bottle for what? A month and a bit now, so and that's how much I've used already. But I've stopped using it, and I've been using the Secret Oddvog, and the Secret Oddvog is going down very quickly as well because that is flipping good. Okay, I'm sorry, you can't clean the bowl like that, and then make fun of it at the same time. Just minimizing cleanup. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, you you gotta admit it's a damn good sauce. It's uh, all right. It's all right. Why why do you hate Tabasco? I don't hate it. I just don't love it. I don't know. It's good until you find out that there are so many better sauces out there with so many better flavors other than just the like vinegar. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's why I draw the line. Vinegar for me is like one of the best tasting. Yes, but I don't know. I don't. I don't eat hot sauce for the vinegar taste. I eat vinegar on the fries for the vinegar taste. Yeah, but I, I feel like vinegar in a hot sauce is just such a good combination. Well, it just yeah. makes it taste so good. That's why it's in like every one. But this is that's literally the main ingredient. Yes, and that's why I like it so much. Okay. I'm not arguing, I'm not trying to make you not like it, I just... I'm just... Not, I, you've been good hot sauce, it's okay, it's fine. It's, it's good, it's okay. okay. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> See? It's media, it's it, like... Comment down below what you guys think of Tabasco. Is it really as bad as James thinks I it is? I'm not saying it's bad. Or is it as good as I say it is? Okay, I just said it's, pr it's, it's pretty average. It it's, is... Okay, okay! It is unbelievably average. The people will speak for themselves. Okay. What's your rating? Of heat? Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. It's, uh, like I said, it's not gonna blow your face off. I didn't say it was. It's so... I didn't say that, disappointingly. So good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> if you like it so much, why don't you just marry it? 
Oh, okay. Um, because James doesn't like the hot sauce, he gets to do the outro. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please leave a like and any comments down below. Uh, recommend the show to any of your friends and please subscribe. Yeah. Catch you on the next Sipping and Dipping.